teams in ECAC, but since that point, 3-7-0 against conference opponents, so it's been tough sledding for the Brown Bears team. Oh, here's a breakaway chance, and it's an Aginla try, and there's a shot, and Booty that makes the save as Aginla was looking for her 10th of the season. Now, first shot of the on goal for either team, and it's a really tough one, but Katie Boudiette stops Jada Ginla in alone on the breakaway. Now her last game at home, now a chance in front of Jaya scores! So after a Ginla denied on the breakaway. Now fed back to Lexia Gia, and now to Boyd facing the net, shoots one deflected on goal, rebound, they score! Nina Steigoff into an open net, it's two nothing Cats! And if this line starts feeling it, it's gonna smell trouble for the rest of the nation. Zoe Boyd does a really good job of walking the line as we take a look on the UCAN replay. The puck a really good deception there by Riley, making it seem like she was going to take the initial shot, then opens up a lane with the fake. Give and go, Maloney a shot and she scores! Third point of the night for Nina Steigoff, another great setup in the Bobcats strike on the power play. This is just beautiful passing. They leave Maloney unmarked. They work her along the left wing wall. You see three marked. They work her along the left wing wall. You see three different white sweaters there now. A fourth with Boyd, who also had a point on the last goal. Tic-tac-toe, Maloney left all alone. She goes short side for the goal. And it's 3-0 Bobcats. The saucer pass finds Labad. Now to Nina Steigoff. Waits. And a this time pass. Turns it over, it's a Ginla on the breakaway, she scores! Over the ice in this game, finally is able to beat Boudiette here. She makes a head fake, tries to see if she can open up that five hole, and then on the backhand is able to get that one through. So a shorthanded goal 